In this video, we are going to show you how to make a minor repair on our fall zone poured in place safety surface flooring system. A repair kit will be sent out to you and I'm just going to go over everything that's in the kit. First you have your TPV rubber granules to match the color of the hole you're trying to repair. You will have your bonding agent all sealed. You will have your smoothing knife, cloth, primer brush, knife cleaner, and your gloves. The first step in making a minor repair on our fall zone poured in place system will be to make sure that you're cleaning the hole or crack and making sure you're getting any loose debris out of there. Now, if you do have some loose debris that is just not coming out with pulling, you might need to cut it with a knife and make sure everything is nice and solid and nothing loose. Note, you want to do this on a dry day. The area cannot be wet, damp, misty. It needs to be dry outside. First step of the process is put your gloves on. You get this product on your hands, it's going to stay on you for a very long time. Second part of the process, or I believe this is the third part now, you're going to open up your bonding agent and primer. You're going to take your primer brush, dip a little bit in there, and what you want to do is prime the connecting points and sub base. You do not need a lot of primer for this, okay? You want to make sure that you keep it off of the top of, of the main surface on the outside. Once it's been primed, you're going to take your bag of Fall Zone TPV rubber. You're going to open it up. And you're going to pour your primer and the bonding agent, the remainder of it, in the bag. Just like so. You want to seal the bag. Make sure it's nice and sealed. And you want to start shaking and mixing. bonding agent to our fall zone TPV rubber granule. You want to do this for a good 45 to 60 seconds, making sure all the rubber is coated. Okay, make sure that bag is sealed. You don't want rubber flying out everywhere. Okay. As you can see, the rubber is being coated very nicely, making sure that there is no dry rubber in there. Making sure everything is coated. Shake it, spin it, however you like. Make sure the bonding agent is coating the rubber granule. Once that's completed, let's open it up and check. You can see it's now coated. Now what you're going to do now is very carefully dump 
the rubber into the primed hole and repair area. Making sure you're nice and clean with this. Not messy, as you can see there's, there was more than enough to do this repair in this bag. This was about a, a three inch diameter hole. You have enough in there to probably do two of those. Okay, once in the hole, you want to take your smoothing knife and basically this is going to prevent the rubber from sticking to the smoothing knife. So what you want to do, spray, make sure this is on mist. Okay, you do not want to spray this directly onto the repair area, just on the smoothing trial. It's nice and smooth. This is going to prevent the rubber from sticking. Now what you're going to do is just flatten out the rubber product into the hole, pushing it down, making sure it's connecting. to the connection points, okay? Once you have it smoothed out, filled in, you want to wipe your smoothing trowel off if it's starting to stick. Spray it again making sure you're spraying away from the hole. You don't want to directly spray the product onto the repair. As you can see now, I'm just smoothing this out. Making sure it's nice and flat. Going from all angles, smoothing it out, pressing down, and you are completed. It's that simple, guys. Allow this to dry for 24 hours. Make sure nobody walks on it, and it is on a dry day. You don't want to do this repair on a rainy day. Water in this product is not good. It's as simple as that guys. So as you can see, we will ship your, your kits out to you. Everything you just saw in this video will be shipped to you. You do it exactly like we just explained to you and it'll come out excellent. Thank you very much.